super fans. How do you build them? Well, the name of the game is warming up your target audience. How do you do that? By showing them interesting content that captures their interest. Well, how do you go about taking them to the next level? Well, in my last video, I broke down how to warm up a cold audience by using video views campaigns. And I did get some questions from artists that I work with or other viewers of the video asking me if I think conversion ads don't work when it comes to advertising to cold audiences, meaning that your cost per conversion is gonna be so high that it's not gonna be worth using, meaning that you have to use video views campaigns to create a custom audience and then use that custom audience of warmed up people, lukewarm people to then use conversion ads. And the answer is, it depends. You guys, what I share that works for me doesn't mean that it's gonna work for everybody, that it's just one size fits all solution that whatever anybody else says is crap. This is marketing. You will never truly find out what works for you unless you do testing. And there is no one size fits all. So can you use conversion ads and advertise to cold audiences and get a low cost per conversion so you don't have to use video views campaign to warm up your target audience, create a custom audience, and you could save money? The answer is possibly. Test, you try, make sure your targeting is on point. So if you could do that and get a low cost per conversion, meaning under 50 cents or whatever it's worth to you, hopefully not over $1 though, then possibly yes, this can work. But for me, my experience, I work with a lot of hip hop artists. It's one of the most oversaturated genres when it comes to promoting music with Facebook and Instagram ads. So when I use conversion campaigns, advertising to cold audiences with some hip hop music, like some trap music or something like that, I noticed that my conversion campaigns, well, the price per conversion was sky high. It was over a dollar, sometimes a dollar fifty. And then I stood back and I, I peeked the bigger picture and I realized that these people that are seeing my ads, most of them are seeing a lot of other ads. The artists that I'm promoting, they're using the same type of content like visualizers, meaning that we're competing for attention but using content bait that hook to hopefully hook these potential fans in with the same content that every other artist is using. So I decided that I'm gonna try to use video views campaigns and actually create an awesome video clip that's a little different, that stands out from the crowd so I could better gain this interest. And then I'm going to retarget those people that were most interested and then send them to my landing page, my smart link, where they then can stream my artists that I'm working with music. And I got better results by doing that. Now, does that mean that you can't use conversion campaigns and advertise to cold audiences? I'm not saying that. All I'm saying is that if you aren't getting the results that you want, then you might wanna to try to actually warm up your target audience first before you call them to action. And that's why I like video views campaigns. Cause when you're just starting out, you shouldn't so much be focused on having your target audience do something for you. You should first focus on actually providing some value. And I feel like if you advertise a cool enough clip that captures their attention, you're providing value without asking them to do something. And once you create a custom audience that's big enough, you can later reach out to them again. And then you're most likely going to see better results once you then ask them to click your link and stream your music. Now, another question I got from my last videos is, Jay, what if I am advertising this video clip and stacking up these video views and I advertise it for too long? Don't you think that audience will eventually cool down if I waited too long to retarget them? And the answer is, once again, possibly. It depends on how long you're advertising that clip. I suggest at least a month so you could stack up enough video views past 75% so you could have a big enough custom audience that when you do retarget, it's actually gonna be worthwhile and your ad's gonna perform optimally. But yes, if you're advertising a clip for far too long and then you retarget, most likely that custom audience, that lukewarm audience 
is going to cool down. So how do you defeat this? How do you get around this issue? Well, you just advertise multiple clips and you keep targeting these cold audiences. And in the end, when you create this custom audience, you could put together all the data from all the clips to create one awesome custom audience that's big enough for your conversion campaigns, which is what we're gonna talk about in this stage of building these super fans. Stage two, using conversion campaigns to send traffic off of the platform that you're advertising to, to your smart link or your landing page. So this is the stage that most of you artists wanna start at, and can you? Yeah, sure. But if you've tried to use conversion campaigns and you can't seem to get that cost per conversion down, it's most likely that you first need to warm up this target audience. Or maybe it's just that your creative, your ad itself is not that interesting compared to all the other ads or all the other artists that are advertising using these targeting options. Because that's the thing, you guys, once you use these targeting options, so you're basically targeting other artists that have fan bases that you feel like would resonate and like your music, you gotta understand that other people are using these targeting options. And so you're competing for attention by using those. So the content that you put out either way, whatever campaign that you choose has to be interesting. It has to capture people's attention. So that's the music and the visual aspect has to be cool enough for somebody to go, this is interesting and I'm gonna take the action, I'm gonna view this. So that's number one is really, obviously you gotta have great music, but you also gotta have good visual aspect to complement that music. And that equation, you put two and two together, you're gonna get four. Back to the plan. So for stage two, what you're gonna be focused on is conversion campaigns. Hopefully you've built up a big enough custom audience of people that watch majority of your video past 75 percent which truly shows they're interested for you guys that don't understand this think about yourself when you're scrolling through your feed and you see these ads how often do you actually stop on an ad and watch majority of it most of you watching this are probably saying right now almost never so if somebody sees your 40 to 60 second clip in the news feed they stop they watch 75 percent of it is it safe to say that they are interested I would say yes. Would you say that they're a fan? I'd say it depends, but most likely no, because they've just heard about you, which is why we're reaching out again in this stage two with conversion campaigns and actually trying to take them off the platform to a landing page where they could stream your music, which shows that they're more interested. Now they're warm, and that's what we're doing in this stage. We're warming up this lukewarm audience to see if we could take them off one platform to another. Okay, that's stage two, and the way you do this is by advertising to that custom audience with conversion campaigns, sending them to your smart link where you're tracking them there with the Facebook pixel where you ultimately can later retarget them in stage three, the video I make next, to hopefully collect an email. But we're not there yet. Let's focus on conversion campaigns and building up this Facebook pixel audience, this data, these people that they're tracking. You're gonna to need to focus on this until you build up a big enough audience in the thousands, meaning you're going to have to keep releasing new music and advertising new songs and sending traffic to a landing page that, that Facebook pixels on so it's continuously tracking people so you ultimately can put together a big enough custom audience. So just to retract, the second stage of building these super fans is gonna be focused on what most of you artists want, which is sending traffic to your streaming platforms are really to a smart link where you could track that traffic and later retarget them for stage three, which is going to be collecting email. So most of you are going to be in this stage for some time until you can build up a big enough audience from your pixel data. For stage three, it's gonna be time to collect an email. An email to some of you artists is a boring word, and I understand, I ignore a lot of emails, but if it's a brand, that I enjoy, if it's a brand I like, whether that's an artist, music, clothes, whatever it is, I look forward to that email. I look forward to hearing from them. So know that your email list is gonna be one of the most valuable assets that you have as an artist, as a brand, because when you reach out to it, you don't have to count on using Facebook ads or other third-party platforms. Yes, you do gotta use an email marketing platform such as MailChimp, 
but these are low cost compared to all the money you have to put into ads. And ultimately, your product offers, your merch offers, your tickets to your show or your live stream performance, you're gonna be advertising to your email list who are most likely going to purchase from you rather than these audiences that are lukewarm or just warmed up, meaning they, they streamed your music. So just to retract, stage one of building up these super fans is going to be heating up a cold audience, making them lukewarm, meaning they're interested, they're just learning about you, they've heard of you. Stage two is going to be actually getting that lukewarm audience to stream your music, meaning that they're warm. Now they've known about you, they've taken an action to actually leave the platform that you're advertising on to find you on Spotify or wherever you're sending them through your smart link and actually listening to your music. Stage three is going to be taking that warm audience and creating a hot lead by collecting an email and stage four is what all you artists want, which is going to be creating offers, limited one-time only offers that are going to allow you to ultimately sell merchandise. That's a lot of information that I've covered. So I'm gonna leave it at that. In my next video, I'm gonna be breaking down how you can go about actually advertising to these warmed up audience and collecting emails so they can become hot leads so you ultimately can advertise to them later down the funnel and actually sell some merchandise. But I regress. If you guys are new here or if you just haven't yet, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button and I do appreciate it. Until next time, stay true, keep making music, peace.